hi guys so today we're making stewed curry chicken and what you're first gonna do is you're gonna wash your chicken really really well you can use vinegar or salt I had already washed mine so here I'm just using water clean it so well and um, next up is drying the chicken so you're gonna use a towel or, a pe or paper towels if you have them and then you're gonna put your chicken in the sufuria or the pot whichever you choose to use then you're gonna go straight to um, marination I used teenage chicken so yeah uh, you're gonna go in first with the curry powder yeah then next up is gonna be paprika uh, like one teaspoon of paprika then you're gonna go in with the turmeric half a teaspoon of turmeric because you don't want it to really really be yellow and then next you're gonna go in with the black pepper I used whole grains so you have to pound them once you get your powder put it all in there I used the kinu or pestle and mortar for those who don't know Swahili um, yeah so you're gonna go in with that with the black pepper put it all in there then you're gonna go in with your salt salt to taste however you like it depending on the amount of your chicken then next is garlic and ginger you're gonna go in and pound those add uh, you can add the ends of if you have coriander you can add the ends of coriander to your garlic and ginger so that you can get that flavorful on your really really trying to marinate that chicken so yeah after you're gonna take your garlic ginger and coriander uh, and put them in your in your marinating sufria you know you're gonna want to get everything in there everything in there mm -hmm. so the next thing you're gonna do is take the marination the garlic ginger and your coriander put them in there And this is a really really essential bit in your marination so you're gonna really want to make sure everything is in there uh, you can choose to add more garlic or not so the remainder that's in the quinoa you can put some water I used a little bit of water put it in the quinoa clean that shit that clean it all up and put it inside um, so next you're gonna go in with your hands you want to make sure your hands are really clean because you're gonna go in with your hands and really make it in there. Rub that, rub the marination in the chicken very well. Make sure every piece gets go under the skin, all around the meat. And then the next thing you're gonna do is add onions because you want that flavor. Since we didn't use onion powder, we're gonna add the real onions. Then we're gonna put some oil and put it on the fire. Make sure to cover your uh, sufuria or pot so that you let the meat cook so if you're using the normal chicken 25 minutes to 30 is it but if you're using the kenyeji chicken you're gonna have to let it really cook so i let mine cook for like two hours one hour 30 minutes and then now we're gonna check on it and um the chicken is cooked through but if it's not cooked through you need to add some water and let it cook you're just going to make sure to check around, to mix it up so that if it's um, got the sufuria, you're going to want to get that car caramelized at the bottom. Mix it up well, then you're going to go in with the ingredients. We were making stewed chicken here, so, so we're gonna, there goes our ingredients. We're going to um, blend the tomatoes and you're going to go in with the onions first and the garlic. And you're going to mix that, that up, mix the two of them up. Once your onions are caramelized, you're going to go in with a little bit of um, green bell peppers and the rest of the garlic, the chopped off garlic. Then you're going to go in with your um, pureed tomato, yeah, your blended tomato. You're going to go in with that and make sure to mix it up well, mix it up, mix it up well. Mix up, mix, mix the ingredients well, make sure they coat every single chicken and um, cover that so that your tomatoes can cook. Uh, in 10 minutes, you can check on your chicken. The tomatoes look good, the stew looks good. 
so that's the reason why we covered it so that you can cook slowly then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add your uh, coriander and the rest of your bell peppers just to get that flavor so when i was doing this bit my mom asked for potatoes so i had to rush kill some potatoes and add them if you're doing it normally you're gonna add the potatoes before you add the coriander and the bell peppers so yeah that's why we added them the last time uh, so after the potatoes are added you're gonna want to mix your chicken and potatoes well mix it up mix it up and then after mixing up you're gonna ha you're gonna want to um, add some water to it make sure your tomatoes are mixed well make sure your tomatoes are really really mixed well your potatoes are coated with all the flavor this should have been done before the coriander but if you have if you have extra coriander you can add them at the end as well then go in with your water you can use uh, two cups of water depending on the amount of chicken that you used mix that up then you can go ahead and cover it and let it cook let it simmer slowly Make sure the potatoes don't overcook, so you gotta keep checking them, checking on them if they're cooked or not. Yeah, so you cover that, let it cook, and 10 minutes later, check on them. My potatoes literally cooked in 12 minutes, so I checked in 12 minutes, and yes, they were cooked, then you serve that. Serve it hot, garnish your meal, and voila, you have your meal. Enjoy! Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. Um, I didn't have... Um, see you next in the next video. Love you guys. Mwah.